I'd like to draw a comparison today between trying to find the God in church or synagogue or mosque or wherever people go to pray and trying to learn English conversation in your typical English lesson or school. Let's start with the church. I once was teaching English in the basement of a church. In the Chicago City Colleges, it was an outpost. And I, my students were doing some seat work from a book. And I started talking to the, a priest. And I said to the priest, I said, I saw you on TV. I saw that you were helping uh, Latin American people come to this country and help them and help them get settled and was we were doing a lot of nice things for them and he says oh yeah yeah I was on TV and I said well it's nice to see that the church is finally relating to the people and he says the church he said the church isn't worth a damn and that just shocked me because, I mean, to hear that from a priest in a church was just very, very uh, uh, surprising. He says, it's not the church that's important. It's the faith of the people. And so I understood that what he meant was it's the personal relationship a person has with God that's important in terms of God, your relationship with God, and not the church. Although the church has many functions, uh, social functions, they do other kinds of good things in terms of uh, philanthropic functions. But in terms of relationships with God, it's not the optimum way. The optimum way is to pray and to think and to research and try to good, do good things for people uh, which may not be related to the church at all now in ESL English the conventional wisdom where well, you might think that the way to learn English is in an English class well this isn't really the case I've talked to many many students from many many different countries and they say that they go for years studying English in school and they come here and they can't speak English because they don't practice speaking English. They work on grammar. Well, <laughs> the way to learn English is like having a personal relationship with God. You need to have a personal relationship with the language. You need to listen to the language. You need to practice the language. You need to listen to tapes over and over again. And that's how uh, you learn the language. You need to uh, have conversations with people and, and pay attention and learn the words. And this is a personal thing, not a classroom thing where you, where you uh, uh, study grammar, which is counterproductive in my opinion. People learn language, as I said before, naturally from their environment. When they're growing up, but... Uh, when you get older, you, you need to be more focused and be more purposeful and, and uh, repeat things more and, and learn more vocabulary. Thank you.